federal government has directed all its staff on grade level 12 and below to stay at home for the next five weeks as part of effort to curtail the spread of COVID-19 as the nation battles a second wave. The Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19 made the disclosure at its briefing on Monday. All government staff on grade 12 and below are to stay at home for the next five weeks. Permanent secretaries and chief executives are to be held accountable for enforcing NPI rules in their domains with frequent sport checks. It said five weeks. So what they are telling us now is that the second wave of COVID-19 is now in Nigeria. Not that they are trying to avoid it or so that it won't come. It won't come. It has already landed. Uh -huh. Good and fine. Why are you people afraid to die? Please leave everybody alone. COVID-19 knows what who to visit. When I don't start again, Abby, it is not fake news. Though. Scammers, fake news. Okay. Except the police who must go to work, yet no provision for them. But criticisms. Let's go for another lockdown so the remain richer more. Why the poor remain poorer? Mm. The remain re rich, rich get richer, and why the poor masses get more poorer? Why governments not allow everybody go about their business so that whoever COVID nineteen wants to take away, let them go. Okay, mm. we are uh, too much as governments can't control. They can't control us then COVID-19 should be allowed to control us. How the civil servants will go and rest while the security agencies will continue? So are they not human beings, but some elements will leave their house and go challenge them, and you expect them, and you expect them not to react. What next lockdown? You don't even bother about the state of the economy and the country. I won't. Okay, this one is trying to it's trying to rain causes on them. Wicked coronavirus making life unbearable for everyone. God have mercy. Una don't define una have na one TP na una no go TP worker this December. Abi, it is where the will of God will be done in Nigeria. It is not possible. Stay at home. Order is not necessary. Hmm. Not again. How long is this going to last? Nigeria government is not one man's business. So anyone imposing law should be very, very, very careful. I see that this is this is their plan all along. And just like we said, because according to Boss Mustafa, who is the chairman of the presidential tax force on COVID-19, he said four of his children are, infect, are affected or infected with the so-called virus. And everybody just have to take Take care of yourself. We know that uh, this government is not even serious about uh, the job, what concerns the masses. Not because they love the masses. It's because it's affecting them as well. But if you are telling them to sit at home, make sure you pay them their salaries. So don't come and tell us that they did not work. Don't tell us that they did not work because these are the areas whereby you create avenue for corruption and yes, you begin to complain. Now you are telling them to sit at home. I hope they will not be told that they did not come to work meanwhile they will not pay them again well stop the lies nothing like covid 19. uh you agents of darkness we know all your evil plans but it will all fail we don't want your vaccines hmm. you and all your families can take it leave us alone or you will have to fight our lord jesus Stop all these restrictions. Death is death. Allow people to enjoy their lives. The most important thing is to make sure you give your life to Christ so that whether you live or die, you are secured in Him. No, that is not the issue now. If you know what to do and you are not doing it, it's a sin on your part. And to me, it's suicidal for you to say, oh, they should not say, uh, uh, people should not be uh, taken care of. The, what, the problem we have is the way. The government has been managing everything in this country. That is why people don't even give a... They don't even answer them. Well, you know, in other countries, they respect their law. Like the way people respect uh, their religious books, their holy books. They respect their laws. But here, what do we see? The ones who put the law, they don't even respect it. But they want the people who they are leading to live by example or to abide with uh, all of these uh, protocols and procedures. The Egyptians that we see or we have seen before, we shall see them no more. Federal government should stop playing politics with Nigerians 
and Nigeria does not have a coronavirus, how many people do the government pay or take care of? Please allow the people go on with their normal businesses, business activities, and care for their families instead of uh, harassing them all in the name of coronavirus. If it's because of the one hundred and five uh, dollar per person from UN, go and collect and set us free, shameless and greedy leaders that. Uh, God Almighty will smash and perish. Okay, is there anything like a you want to pay every person $105 per person? Hmm. Well, how funny Nigeria does not have coronavirus. <laughs> Your ignorance is not, it's top notch. I wonder the sort of people that make comments or that even talk about the situation in the country. God is not a man. All this will never affect the propagation of the gospel of jesus christ why not make it mandatory to for everyone to be wearing face masks instead on a one siphon another trillion how do the government collect data of those infected with coronavirus no credible testing centers in all states not now jesus is the king forever end time let people wear face masks and go about their businesses Sentiment apart, COVID-19 is real and it is ravaging with greater intensity now. People are dying every day. We have a hopeless government. Quite all right, but the directives on lockdown should be obeyed for our own good. Yeah, they should be, they should obey, the people should obey the lockdown. But what goes with the lockdown? Because you don't just lock down with an empty stomach. You don't go on lockdown with ordinary hand. You don't just say, go and sit down. Don't do anything. Just stay in the door. The people that are or uh, that are business people on a daily basis, uh, petty traders that uh, they get their income on a daily basis. So you want them to go and sit down and you are not making any provision for them. Now they will begin to tell you numbers of people who are affected, but they don't have the data of everybody in the country. From the first person to the last person, they don't have. But when it comes to all this kind of a thing, they will begin to keep data. Why can't you keep the data of the people in the country? We don't even know who is who. How many people are registered in this country? How many people are registered with a particular address? They don't have it. But when it comes to this kind of a thing, because they always do some kind of a abracadabra, that is why they will not want to do it. So locking down is not the problem. What, what goes with lockdown? Are they ready to provide those things? That is where the problem lies. Are they ready to do that? So we don't just be locking down. Oh, you hear Oh, the second wave strain. All of those uh, terminology that we are hearing from uh, outside the country. Those are the things that our government will be bringing in. They themselves, they will continue with that. But when it comes to the good things that those people do, they will, they will look the other way. They will look the other way. They will not want to do anything. So that is where, and that is why people are not even trusting them. People don't even believe them in what they say. In what they say. If you are locking down, Make sure that everything goes fine with it, not just by words of mouth. So guys, let us hear your opinion concerning this.